Welcome to the Intellimeter overview video for the configuration tool. There'll be two additional videos demonstrating configurations. The first will show where the phasing is the same, and the second will show custom phasing. Install the iMeter 45 programming software, and to do so, click on the icon on the desktop. This will open the main window. This is where the majority of the data input for the programming will take place. First begin by entering the panel number that this module is metering. The next field is the serial number, job number, and CT ratio, which can be seen on the iMeter 45 information label on the right-hand side of the meter itself. In CT ratio, select the most common ratio. This will save you time when you adjust the CT ratios on a later screen. Select the appropriate phasing configuration. If the system has different configurations, select custom. The MTR meter max is the maximum number of metering points for this iMeter 45. This number will be adjusted according to the phasing configuration up to a maximum number of 45 metering points. If you are tying the system together using a Modbus IDs, each meter will need an individual Modbus ID number. If there are no communications at this time, leave the number as one. When monitoring the mains of the panel, select main MTR. This will inform the program the mains of the panel are being metered. If you are using CT rails, select CT rails. Once you've completed the main window, click naming button. If you selected custom phasing, a second window will open up and there's an example on our third video. This dialog box is used to program the iMeter 45 with multiple different phasing types. At the top, you will see the panel name and the meter number. The metering points left will decrease as you proceed with updating each meter number. The three buttons, single phase, two phase, and three phase will be used to adjust the metering points remaining. If you make a mistake, click the back button. The cancel button will bring you back to the main menu screen. At the bottom of the screen, a progress bar will show how many metering points are left. In the iMeter 45 edit window, you can adjust the panel, job number, Modbus ID, and if a mistake is made, you can correct it there. The phasing configuration and the meter max cannot be configured on the screen. It is here just as a guide. Board A, C, B, and D, and the main seen here indicate the interface boards are connected with ribbon cables to ports A, C, B, and D on the meter. Main indicate CDs plugged into the main ports. The information displayed for each board is the same. However, some of the information may need to be adjusted depending on the CT ratio. The first column on the left is the meter number. This will be incrementally adding up to the maximum number of metering points depending on the configuration and the maximum metering points itself. The next column is unit ID. This is a generic auto fill naming convention that can be adjusted up to a maximum of 15 characters. The next column is the serial number. This is a combination of the meter number and the actual serial number that is entered on the screen. This can be adjusted but has to have a unique ID. The CD ratio is to replicate the ratio of CT being used in the panel at each metering point. This can be adjusted if the CT ratio is different than the main screen selected. The verify button at the bottom can be used to verify the program is working properly. The download button will download the software to the iMeter 45 and program the meter module. Click the save button to generate two files. One of the actual program file and the other is a text file, which will contain the program file in text format and the information associated with it. Thank you for listening to the iMeter 45 overview video.